I grew up in a house where my grandfather was known to be a songwriter and my dad was at the top of his craft and uh, it just seemed to me that it was a wonderful, mysterious, beautiful thing to do. Writing songs, writing lyrics in particular, is a process of writing lists, of creating lists of things, a list of ideas, a list of, so this is what I'm gonna say in the first verse, and then the second verse, and then the third verse will be this. Uh, a list of rhymes is an obvious thing, but also it might be a list of words that have assonance, meaning that the vowels themselves rhyme, but not necessarily the consonants. And then there's alliteration, where you have a lot of the same letter. Crispy, crunchy crackers, you have cr, 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 and that's alliteration. Now, the Balthazar character was almost like, uh, it was sort of a muse that I had as a, a puppet. I would have the puppet sit across from where I sat at my kitchen table where I liked to do my writing. Sometimes I would create a line, all right, I'd say, now what would Balthazar say in this moment? That's the macaw. I have had writer's block. I think it's the curse of every writer, but I had a wonderful writing teacher back in college uh, whose name was Vicki King. She's very well known. She believed, and I agree with her, that writer's block is when you're, you as a writer on a personal level are not dealing with something and you should deal with that thing. The greatest asset, the gold you dig for it, are characters. There are writers who fall in love with a location or a time period. For me, it's more about the characters, and to me, that's the gold. When you can find great characters, that's when you can build a story uh, that's meaningful. And, and I find, in my experience, if it's a meaningful story to me, then other people will identify with it, and that's the great reward. Mm -hmm.